Hello, I'm Richard Norman, the Field Services Training Leader for Monitoring and Diagnostics with GE Grid Solutions UK Limited. For all monitors operating in varying environmental conditions and at all times of day, a proactive equipment care programme can reduce or prevent most system operation error alarms. If your Kelman Multigas Monitor identifies a problem with the active measurement cycle, by design it will abort the measurement and provide the operator with a system error code or message highlighting the potential problem with the monitor and or setup. Errors are reported using a sequence of double digit codes for the PGA and the oxygen sensor if enabled. The PGA error state denotes the most recent state within the measurement cycle where the error occurred. All errors are listed as error codes and the associated hexadecimal in brackets allows the most recent state to be identified. When notified of the following error codes, these actions and procedures may resolve the system error code or message displayed. All the system alarm error codes are accompanied by illumination of either the blue service light that is visible on the front door of the product or the flashing green power light as on Minitrans. Also, the service relay will be toggled to inform the customer distribution control systems or SCADA of this issue. If after the next scheduled measurement run there are no error conditions present, the system service alarm switches off. This type of alarm can occur if the condition is temporary and most probably caused by a proximity factor. If any error codes remain or reappear after an additional measurement or these suggested procedures have been completed, please download the relevant service logs and send them to GE for analysis. These measurement system errors can be cross-referenced in the relevant equipment support manuals. PGA connection error. This may be due to the main communication cable disconnection or loosening and may be checked and rectified as shown. Safely power off the monitor and check the security and fitment of the main ribbon cables, looms or with DGA 900, the PCC for presence, connection and tightness. Power on the monitor and check if the system error has been rectified. If necessary, run a full DJ measurement to confirm. Error code 05, background noise or vibration too high. Error code 6. Microphone test failed. Check for possible causes of excessive vibration affecting the unit. For example, heavy plant operating nearby, objects falling onto the unit, the monitor mounting not stable, or the monitor still within 5 degrees of plumb triaxially. Code 17. Oil temperature too high. Check the transformer oil temperature gauge is less than 120 degrees Celsius. Check the monitor thermoelectric cooler outside fans are running. They are free from dust and debris including the heatsink fins. Check all other monitor air filters for cleanliness and good airflow. Error code 18. Oil pressure too low. Check all transformer and Kelman fitted oil supply valves are fully open to flow. Check the inlet oil supply filter condition. Check for any excessive oil leaks.
Error code 19. Oil pressure too high. Check all transformer and Kelman oil return valves are fully open to flow. If fitted, any inline oil return filters are clean. Error code 20. Oil pump tacker count too high. Check all inline transformer and Kelman oil supply and return valves are fully open to flow. Check supply and return oil filters are unblocked if fitted. Check for any oil pipe damage. Error code 21, oil pump pressure too low, or error code 24, oil pump taco count too low. Check all transformer and Kelman oil supply valves are fully open to flow. The other system error codes may require GE technician intervention. Please send the system service log files for analysis and product support. If possible, please contact your GE MND representative or GE Grid Solutions website to confirm your monitor has the latest firmware and software available. Your errors may be resolved by updating these files. Thank you for watching this how-to video. Check out this YouTube channel for other GE M&D how-to videos.